All right, well, I've been asked by many people, why do I think Trump will win? One big reason is how X turned into a right-wing platform. Viewpoints that weren't allowed on Twitter before, or really anywhere in the mainstream, could be stated, I mean, they get stated all the time now. Before Elon took over, you could get your account suspended for saying that there are only two genders, as an example. It was seriously locked down, and it, along with Facebook and many others, gave people the wrong impression that society is far more left-leaning than it really is. But since it became X, people on the right have been able to come together in ways they really weren't able to before, you know, on a mainstream platform, and, and feel a sense of camaraderie. You know, where previously, if they wanted to form groups of some sort, they, they usually had to be on some weird, dubious app of some sort or website. I mean, for a while, Telegram was a place that people went to. But, you know, since the censorship isn't nearly like it was, I'm not going to say it's censorship-free because X censors stupid things now, too, like the word cis or cisgender. But since all these changes, it's allowed people on the right and even the far right to spread their messaging far more than anything since the internet became popular. A lot of people were converted as a result. So basically, X is one of those reasons. Another is that Trump has been doing a lot of interviews on non-traditional media, the most prominent lately being on Joe Rogan. He's doing his best to be heard by those who are usually ignored by mainstream media while still doing the huge over-the-top rallies. And finally, Trump is viewed, is viewed as being far better for the economy than Biden. And Kamala has said she's going to continue the same policies as Biden. This doesn't translate to Trump actually being better for the economy, but he's viewed that way. I'm not saying, it, it, I'm not saying he would be bad for the economy. I'm just saying this is the viewpoint that's common in society, and, and these are some of the reasons why Trump will probably be re-elected. I mean, Trump has floated the boneheaded idea of replacing income taxes with tariffs, which is just crazy to me. I mean, if people think things are expensive now, imagine when there's a 200% tariff on some of the things that you regularly buy. And yes, I get that it's trying to force more companies, more American companies, to produce their product in America and discourage people from buying foreign products, but it's going to be very expensive for people. It would most definitely hurt the poor and the middle class. And even before COVID, Trump brought up the deficit by quite a bit. The government needs a revenue stream to pay for everything. And trickle-down economics doesn't work. The notion that if you just give rich people more money, that it'll just trickle down to everyone else and pay for everything is just total horseshit. So even if people are wrong in their viewpoints of cause and effect, people who don't like inflation and the high cost of necessities, and crime in big cities, and people pouring into the country illegally, yeah, those people are probably going to prefer Trump. They're not going to care about his personality issues, his crudeness, his wanting to go after his adversaries, his fascination with dictators. They just want cheap groceries and gas and think that Trump will give it to them. Just saying.